All right, everybody, good afternoon. We've got a little bit of Seahawks news and just a touch of uh, Rams news as well, so uh, let's get to it here. Obviously, with all the things going on in the Seahawks backfield, it was expected that we were going to pick up a running back for at least depth purposes, right? We don't know what's going on with Ken Walker. Travis Homer could go one way or the other. DJ Dallas, obviously not 100%. Even Tony Jones, it wouldn't surprise me if he has the some kind of concussion after that dirty hit he took against the Rams. So we needed somebody just in case. Even if it's just for one week, we needed somebody. We got somebody. Wayne Gallman has been signed to the practice squad. And there were a slew of guys who I talked about after that Rams game who we could have picked up. Guys like Alex Collins... Guys like uh, Carlos Hyde, uh, guys like, uh, well, not Marlon Mack now because he's actually playing for the Broncos, but he was somebody I was looking at. You know, there are always a couple of decent veteran running backs lingering on the the, uh, waiver wire at any given point. You just have to go and get them. Wayne Gallman would be one of those guys. Um, For my money, Wayne Gallman is just as good as anybody else you could have gotten. You take a look at the free agency list and you're like, yeah... That guy would have been about as good as Wayne Gallman. So with that guy, that guy too, it's all good. Wayne Gallman, he's relatively scheme versatile. So I do believe that he'll be able to do what we need a running back to do in this offense. Uh, You know, running inside, running outside. I think it's all pretty good there. Um, He's a tough runner. He's somebody who runs with plus effort. Knows how to slam uh, slam in between the tackles. He's also a pretty good cutter decent pass catcher. You take a look at his career so far, obviously most well known as a giant. He was drafted by the Giants in the fourth round, and he had a decent four-year run with them. Nothing huge, but his rookie year, he did average about 4.3 yards a carry, had about close to 700 yards from scrimmage, and in 2020, he had his best year ever, nearly 800 yards from scrimmage and six touchdowns. Uh, 4.6 yards a carry for a team that almost rallied to make the playoffs at the end of the year. Last year, he barely played. He split time between the Falcons and the Vikings, although he never actually got the ball when he was a member of the Vikings. He's basically been out of football since then, uh, unfortunately. So I'm not going to pretend this is a stellar player, but obviously he did have his uh, superstar moments when he was in college for the Clemson Tigers, helping that team ultimately win a national title in, I believe it was 2016. So, if you want the rose-colored glasses view of Wayne Gallman, you take a look at what he did in his college football career. 2015 for the team that finished second in all of college football, almost 1,800 yards from scrimmage, 14 touchdowns, decent receiver out of the backfield, 1,500 rushing yards. And then in 2016 for the team that ended up winning it all, 1,300, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, almost 1,300 yards from scrimmage and 17 touchdowns. Solid quality running back, ended up being a fourth-round pick. Again, he has not managed to accomplish anywhere near what he accomplished in college football in the NFL. But 2020 was a solid season for him. That was only a couple years ago. He just wasn't quite big time enough to catch on in free agency the next year. Like I said, did a little bit with Atlanta, spent some time with Minnesota, had a cup of coffee over there pieced out, and he's been waiting for his chance ever since. Well, now he has his chance. And when you're comparing him to the other running backs we could have gotten, like I said, Alex Collins was the main guy that people were talking about. Uh, People were talking about guys like Marshawn Lynch even, which, I mean, that's just kind of silly. I know that's just people messing around. But, you know, more realistically, I guess you would say Carlos Hyde. This is about as good as anything you could have done. So... I do expect him to be active next week against the Panthers at the very least, and I expect him to be active until Ken Walker is 100%. So this should be good enough, but I'll, I'll say it again. The way this run blocking is, is on the front line right now, I don't think it matters that much who the running back is. Ken Walker was having problems. Rashad Penny would have problems if he was playing right now. These guys, they're just not getting it done up in the middle, especially Austin Blythe, and I would throw Gabe Jackson and maybe even Phil Haynes in there. So we, we've got a problem up there, and until that gets fixed, 
It doesn't matter who the running back is that much. But Wayne Gallman is is as good as anyone you could get, and I feel confident that he'll be able to do what he needs to do for a few games here. But at the end of the day, until the run blocking gets fixed, it's going to be on Geno's shoulders. And whoever the running back is, going to be their responsibility to just hold on to the ball, catch a couple passes out of the backfield, keep the defense as honest as possible, and ultimately let Geno do his thing. That's the team we have right now. And we got to roll with it. Our pass blocking is better than our run blocking. And I don't mind that. I don't think that's a bad place to be at all. But you got to embrace that. And you also need a guy who's at least competent back there. Somebody who's not going to cough up the ball. Somebody who's not going to, you know, dance too much and give away yardage when it's there. And I think Wayne Gallman can be that guy more or less. He was relatively solid a couple years ago. He's not that old yet. He's only, what, uh, 20, 28? So, pretty good. So that's the Seahawks news right now, but real quick, I also want to throw this one out because a lot of people are following this. Some people even said the Seahawks should go after this guy, but it wouldn't have mattered even if we did. For the record, I had no interest, and I don't care at all where he goes because he's not very good at football, but Baker Mayfield has been claimed on waivers by the LA Rams. Rams have to pay him a little bit of money for the rest of the season, And it is possible that he will be playing on Thursday night against the Raiders. That's just two days from now. That's a lot to ask. But I would expect Baker to play at some point this year for them. So, honestly, the way John Wolford played yesterday, I mean, I know he's playing a bad defense, and I know that he still had the two interceptions. His numbers are not great. But honestly, the way John Wolford played, I'm hard-pressed to believe that Baker Mayfield's better than him especially in the Rams offense like you look at Baker Mayfield what he's done so far this year for the Panthers I know the Panthers are a bad team his completion percentage is down he's not giving you that much in terms of volume stats touchdown interception ratio is one to one his QB rating is at a career low even compared to when he was a rookie he was much better as a rookie actually He's taking a lot of sacks. He's not giving you anything as a rusher. He never really has, in fairness. He's never been like a Russell Wilson or uh, somebody like that who's going to give you a lot on the ground, but he's really not giving you anything this year. And looking at the way Baker plays, I think that doesn't fit this offense at all. Well, not this. When I say this offense, I mean the Rams offense. Baker Mayfield is an improviser. Baker Mayfield is a guy who likes to run around in the pocket and try to make things happen on second and third reads, and basically tries to save broken plays. He plays like Russell Wilson does in many ways. I don't think that really works for the Rams offense. Now, granted, you work with what you have, but is what you had with uh, John uh, John Wolford worse than what you're going to get with Baker? I'm not convinced. At least Wolford has experience with those players, with that team, with that offense. Baker Mayfield, he's going to show up in L.A. today, and two days later he's going to be playing against a Raiders team that is playing well right now? I don't know if I buy it. I don't know if I get it. I don't think Baker was a good fit for the Rams or the Niners. They're the other team that some people thought might um, go for Baker. But it didn't make a lot of sense to me. He's probably having the worst year of his career, and maybe that's understandable given the team he's playing for. But at the same time, P.J. Walker is doing all right. And who is P.J. Walker? Is P.J. Walker some all-pro quarterback? No. So, not really buying it, but for whatever it's worth, Baker Mayfield is now a Ram. So, that's the uh, roster updates, I guess, for the NFC West. I will see you guys later. Go Hawks!